Looking ahead, we expect the recovery to proceed at a moderate pace with a positive underlying momentum, but also with continuing uncertainty surrounding the outlook. Looking ahead, the rate of inflation could increase slightly in the short term, but it should remain moderate over the policy-relevant medium-term horizon. Turning to budgetary policies, a return to credible, sound, and sustainable fiscal positions is urgently needed. We call on all countries to undertake ambitious fiscal consolidation, ideally a quantum leap in strengthening EU and euro area economic governance would require a treaty change. This means that short of an immediate or rapid treaty change, we have to exploit to the maximum all the possibilities for EU secondary legislation under the current treaty to achieve this quantum leap. A new system of surveillance to check and correct macroeconomic imbalances where they are emerging is needed. The ID has garnered support in principle, but concrete measures to make it operative and sufficiently binding are still to be agreed. This surveillance framework must be supported by a graduated system of incentives and sanctions, which can be activated sufficiently early in the process and which should be commensurate with the severity of the infringement. Public debt levels, as well as the evolution of deficits, can be a source of financial instability and contagion across countries sharing a common currency. We have been very bold. We do not have a political federation. We have a single currency. We have to get the best possible framework for controlling and enhancing surveillance, not only of the fiscal uh, situation, but also of the relative competitiveness and imbalances.